Hey guys, it's Chris. From ancient snakes that once dominated the world to some of the most venomous snakes on the planet, here are 10 of the most amazing snakes in the world. Number 10, Titanoboa. There once was a time when dinosaurs and mammoths and other massive creatures ruled the earth. And among these massive creatures were gigantic versions of snakes, ones that make the snakes of today look like cute little pets. The biggest one of all, though, is the one and only Titanoboa. This massive serpent was one of the apex predators of the ancient world, once the dinosaurs were out of the way, of course. It lived during the Paleocene Epoch, five million years after the Cretaceous extinction event. With a length of about 42 feet long and a weight of about 2,500 pounds, it was a snake like no other. It was nearly twice the size of a green anaconda at max size. Now, just take a second and think about that body with that weight trying to crush you. Many snakes can squeeze the life out of a human if it was able to get the right position and had enough time to squeeze, but the Titan of Boa would be able to do it without much effort. But since this was from the ancient world, how did we learn about it? That would be because about 15 years ago in Columbia, South America, a group of students led by the University of Florida were visiting a coal mine. The Cerrajón Mine and the Cerrajón Formations are a famous place to find fossils. The paleontologists set to work, and among their findings was a vertebrae for the Titanoboa. Needless to say, they were shocked at first, as the Titanoboa shattered all expectations of what a snake could have been in the ancient world. The Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute said that Cerrajón is the best place in the world to find tropical animals and plants from the past. As they continued to search around, they found skull fragments from the Titanoboa. This was a feat to be praised, as snakes are known to have skulls that don't last very long after they die. The Titanoboa that was discovered can now be found in the Museum of Natural History, and numerous books and papers have been written about the Titanoboa since its discovery. Which shouldn't be too surprising after all, it's the biggest snake ever found. Titanoboa is now the star of Titanoboa Monster Snake. Number 9. African Rock Python There are many species of snake in Africa, but the largest of the bunch is the African Rock Python. One of the difficult things to ascertain about this particular python is its size. Most African Rock Pythons have been found to have lengths between 9 and 12 feet. However, there are some that have been documented to be upwards of 20 feet and over, including one being shot by a hunter in the Gambia that was apparently 24 feet. It primarily makes its home in the grasslands and swamplands of Central and Western Africa, but it also resides in rainforests, and some have even been found in the Florida Everglades. Like certain other snakes, the African rock python can blend in with the environments via its skin. It should also be mentioned that the African rock python has very diverse tastes. And what do I mean? While they do eat rodents and lizards, they've also been noted to eat antelopes, monkeys, pigs, and crocodiles. That's a lot of power, not to mention flexibility. Because recall, snakes eat their victims whole. So that meant that the African rock python is able to swallow an antelope or a crocodile whole. That's crazy. But to be fair, they can't just do this willy-nilly. For if they do go after these creatures, their bodies will break down and they'll die about a year after eating them. Number 8. Blue Racer Snake The blue racer snake has a really neat blue color scheme. It's got one deep shade of blue on its top and another shade of blue, a lighter one though, on its bottom. So this snake has two very special colors of blue on itself, and that helps it stand out from the crowd. Interestingly enough, despite their dual blue coloring, the head is actually much darker than the rest of the body. Is this a genetic mutation or something more? Well, no one's really certain. If you're in the United States, you might be able to find the blue racer snake near you. In fact, they have a wide range being in states like Washington and Oregon, all the way to Kentucky. They're even found in Ontario, Canada. That being said, the snakes not only know of humans, they don't really like us. And thus, they'll go to areas with a small or non-existent human population to live. In fact, you'll have to go search in meadows, hedgerows, and other concealed places just to find them. But they have been known to climb trees, so you may have to go to these areas and look up to see them. They love being in dry, humid places and have been known to populate massive acres of land. And now for number 7, but first be sure to subscribe to World List, especially if you're new here. Number 7. Elephant Trunk Snake Upon hearing the name Elephant Trunk Snake, you might get a picture in your head as to what this serpent is like. 
and many of your guesses would be correct on some level. One of the primary reasons that this snake has its name is because of its looks and its skin. The skin looks wrinkled, rough, and even baggy at some points on its body. Not unlike how an elephant's skin looks. What's more, the scales on this snake are much different from others in its species. They're much larger, and they have a rather knobby feel to them, which leads to the elephant trunk snake also being known as the warty snake. Elephant trunk snakes have vastly different sizes between the males and the females. The females are larger and can grow to be about 8 feet in length. They're mostly found in areas of Southeast Asia like Thailand, Malaysia, Borneo, Indonesia, Vietnam, and a few other nations. However, what might make this snake particularly strange is that it's a rare breed of snake that is 100% aquatic, meaning that the only way it can survive is in the water. If it were to get on land, it would die, as it doesn't know how to slither around. And that's due to the fact that the scales on its belly aren't adapted to land like they are in other snakes. Thus, it can't move on land. There is a catch to this one, though. The knobby feel and shape of the scales do have a purpose. Mainly, the elephant trunk snake feeds off of fish, which can be very slippery in the water. The scales are used to help ensure that the fish doesn't get away. Number 6. Eastern Coral Snake The eastern color snake is known for having segments of color on its body, including red, black, and even yellow spots. You almost have to wonder how it evolved to get such a distinct pattern on its back. You also can't deny it does stand out because of it, and not in a negative way either. You can find the eastern coral snake in the southeastern United States for the most part, usually in sandy areas, or even marshy ones. But they actually prefer to live concealed. They'll dig holes or get under piles of leaves and just stay there. It's probably because they honestly aren't that big, and it's probably because they honestly just aren't that big. Generally, they're less than 3 feet in length, and they're not that heavy either. However, certain species in North America can get to 5 feet in length. What might surprise you, though, is that the eastern coral snake is one that is known to be very venomous including having relations to snakes like the mamba and the cobra. However, despite having enough venom to kill five adults, that's terrifying, they have only accounted for the deaths of two humans over the years. The reason for this is that they're unable to release all their venom at once, resulting in dry bites or bites with no venom. Even when the venom is injected via a bite, the mortality rate is under 20%. Number 5. Tentacled Snake the tentacled snake is arguably one of the rarest in the snake world, mainly because it's the only member of its genus. This water snake is known for many things, but key among them is the two tentacles that it has growing outside of its snout, creating an image that's very different from most snakes in the world today. But what exactly are the tentacles for? Are they for attacking? Well, no. Rather, they're highly sensitive mechanosensors. Basically, that means that as the tentacled snake goes through the waters, its tentacles pick up movement that's all around it. That way, it can detect when prey is on the move towards it. To that end, the tentacled snake is one of the deadliest snakes in the water, despite only being around 3 feet in length at max at times. It preys on fish and has an incredibly fast strike. But when that doesn't work, it does something no other snake in the world is known to do anticipate, and then react. What it'll do is it'll lock onto its prey, and then angle its head in a certain direction that it expects the fish to bolt in. Then it'll do a small wiggle of its body to get the fish to think it's moving towards it. The fish will bolt in the direction the tentacled snake is facing, and thus the snake will lash out and bite it before it can get away. Number 4. Brazilian Rainbow Boa in Brazil, there's a snake known as the Brazilian Rainbow Boa, and not surprisingly, they have a wide range of sizes and colors, just like the rainbow. They can be small, but they can also grow to be 5 to 7 feet in length depending on gender. In terms of color, they can be red, orange, yellow, and even brown at times. What separates the Brazilian Rainbow Boa from other snakes, though, is the patterns on its body. It has a variety of circles, crescent shapes, and other distinct patterns that really help it stand out from other snakes in the world. Those shapes on its skin can have different colors and forms, depending on the individual snake. In fact, the rainbow boa is a name for a whole sect of snakes, and the Brazilian rainbow boa is just one subspecies of that group. This snake actually has a rather long lifespan too, at about 10 years. That being said, it's a snake that's very hard to keep in captivity. It needs very dry, very humid places to live, which is why it lives in South America within the Amazon rainforest, 
and other such places like Brazil, southern Venezuela, French Guiana, coastal Guiana, and Suriname. Number 3. Burmese Python The Burmese Python is a truly massive snake that can grow around 23 feet at max in length and can weigh over 200 pounds when at that size. The Burmese Python lives in Southeast Asia, and they can be found within marshes, swamps, woodlands, grasslands, and river valleys. Now, One thing that makes the Burmese Python so interesting as a snake is that it actually has very poor eyesight. But it has adapted beyond this limitation. It has pits that can sense heat that will it has pits that can sense heat, and that allows it to find prey. After it finds its prey, it uses very unique teeth to clamp down on the animal. And once locked on, they can't get away. And you might be curious as to how that actually works. Well, their teeth are actually back curving, so they're kind of like hooks, getting enough purchase with the bite to make it so going forward, backward, or sideways, it just won't do anything. But should push come to shove, the Burmese python can go a long time without food. Number 2. Sea Snakes The sea snakes are easily one of the most amazing yet curious snake species in the world right now, mainly because they're of the same family that you will find cobras and coral snakes in. But the vast majority of these snakes live underwater and have completely adapted to marine life in such a way that going onto land is actually fatal for them, outside of one particular species to be clear. Just as interesting, there are 69 different confirmed species of sea snake, and every single one of them is extremely venomous. One of them in the form of the Belcher sea snake is thought to be one of, if not the, most venomous snake in the world. Other species have venoms that are 10 times more potent than a cobra's. That being said, the sea snakes are legendary for only using their venom on prey, not foes that might want to eat them. But you might be asking, how do they protect themselves then? They have other evolutionary techniques and traits that let them go beyond using their venom. The yellow-lipped sea crate, for example, is one sea snake that is a brightly covered body on one end, and then a black head. It'll use the head to probe crevices in the ocean for food, and then the tail will be whipping around and will look from afar to be a snake's head ready to strike something that comes near it. Even sharks are fooled by this trick. The golden sea snake is one that actually has the ability to see through its own tail, to a certain degree of course. Despite being so deadly and so numerous, sea snakes rarely if ever attack humans. And because of this, human fatalities via these snakes biting them are very low. Number 1. Flying Snakes You might be thinking right now, wait a minute, snakes can fly? Well, technically the answer is no, but there are species of snake that are good at gliding and they're so good at it they seem to fly, and thus they got their name that way. And if you're curious where such snakes reside, well, that would be in Southeast Asia, the mainlands of Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos, greater and lesser Sudus, Maluku, and the Philippines, southernmost China, India, and Sri Lanka. And now how does their flying work? To understand that, you must know that these snakes live in the rainforest and other treed areas of the nations previously listed. What they do is that when they want to move from one tree to another, they'll climb up to the highest branch and then jump off. Or to be more accurate, they thrust their bodies into the direction they want to go. When they do that, they expand their ribs, compress their stomach, and basically become much more flat. This turns them into a wing shape of sorts, thus allowing them to glide. And you might not think that this would be a very successful way of gliding from one place to another given their body type, but you'd be wrong. In fact, scientists have noted that this method they use to glide is more efficient than that of the flying squirrel. At most, flying squirrels can go about 60 meters in distance as they glide. But flying snakes can go over 100 meters in distance. What's more, they can wriggle their bodies in the air to maintain stability and even guide where they want to land. Thanks for watching. What did you think about these interesting and amazing snakes from the world now and the world before? Was there one particular snake you liked above all the others? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time.